Hey everybody, Ryan Medora here, and uh, today's lesson is going to be something near and dear to my heart. It's a blues shuffle, uh, working in the key of A, which is just a great thing. Um, if you're going to a blues jam, or even if you're just playing along to records at home, you definitely want to be able to play a blues shuffle in the key of A, so that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to take this pattern that we know, which is um, sometimes kind of generic, stale, sounds like this. You know, we kind of learn this as like the, the default walking shuffle pattern. And we're going to uh, strip it down a little bit, take away some of those notes, and play it with a little more groove and a little bit more feel. Now this pattern is something that Duck Dunn used a lot. So if you listen to a lot of Albert King records, some of the Blues Brothers stuff, you're going to hear a pattern that's reminiscent of this. Um, you can also learn about Duck Dunn more in my book, Bass Players to Know. Hint, hint, uh, you can check that out by hitting the link below or by going to my website. Um, but Duck Dunn was a phenomenal bass player who really set the standard for electric blues playing. So for this pattern, we're actually going to find our A, our root note, and uh, we're going to find the sixth scale degree, which is here, this F sharp, and the fifth scale degree, which is an E. And we're going to toggle between those two notes, the sixth and the fifth. So it'll sound like this. And so you can hear that I'm giving it a little bit of an emphasis. I've got a couple of dead notes that I'm throwing in, um, particularly right before I play the fifth. So I'll play, I'll either play two attacks per note or do something like this, where I'll play almost like a dead note hammer on doing that kind of thing. Um, but what this does is it emphasizes the shuffle feel. And uh, if you happen to be a guitar player turned bass player, you may have learned uh, the standard kind of like shuffle rhythm guitar part that goes like this. And this is actually very close to that. So so like I said, if you're a guitar player turned bass player, you, or you have a little bit of knowledge about rhythm guitar, this is a very similar concept where, where you're kind of taking a power chord, the root and the fifth, you're adding a sixth, and you're kind of going between them. And that's what happens on the bass in this particular pattern. So um, it's a really good way to kind of lock in with another guitar player or to provide contrast if, if the rhythm guitar player is doing something slightly different. So I'm gonna play this pattern. And you'll hear I'll throw some dead notes in there, sometimes right before the fifth, sometimes right before the root. I may even go to the octave. So instead of playing this lower A, maybe I'll play this higher one. Um, and then once you get comfortable playing that pattern on the one chord, you can move it to the four chord. Find the same thing, but starting on D. Here's my root note, the sixth and the fifth. Go back to your one chord. I'm gonna slide up to the five. Find the same pattern on E. Then I'm going to go down to the 4, go back to D, and finally land on A. And the cool thing is, um, if you're playing a blues and you have a little 5 chord turnaround, you can kind of just emphasize the 5 chord there. You could play a little pentatonic line, kind of going down the scale. Uh, and there's a lot that you can do to be creative. But the whole point of this is to kind of give you another pattern to break away from that standard stale kind of walking thing, um, which that's a great pattern to use. Um, it's awesome and fits most of the time when you're playing stuff. But but this one's just a little bit simpler, a little groovier. Again, it's something that Duck Dunn used a lot when he was playing blues. And I hope that this is something that uh, you're able to integrate into your blues playing, whether you're playing along with records or going to a jam. Um, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, uh, check out my website, ryanmedora.com. There's a lot of great educational material over there. And uh, happy practice practicing.